In this quick video, I'm going to show you an awesome VS Code extension that can auto generate your .git ignore file for you so you don't have to create it yourself manually all the time. So if I say touch and .git ignore at the root of my project, I can manually create the file, right? Just like um, this. And here it is. And now I can start adding things like node modules and .n to this because you don't want to push those to your remote repository most of the time at least. So instead of doing this, I'm going to delete this and go to the extensions marketplace and search for git ignore. And there's a bunch of options. I'm going to choose this one by code zombie. It's the best one in my opinion. Click install. And now in a few seconds, you can start using it. So to use it on Mac, it's command shift P to hit up the uh, command palette. On Windows, it's uh, control shift P. Like so. And now you click on add. And the only thing you have to do now is, is to say node and click on node.gitignore. And now it has auto generated the file for you right here. And as you can see, it has a bunch of stuff, right? A lot more than you can probably come up with on your own, right? So it has, of course, it has the .n, it has the node modules. It also has some log files, I believe. It has a bunch of stuff, right? It has everything you could need properly. And the thing is that you can always just modify this and remove things you don't need and you can add things to it. It's just a great starting point as opposed to just you know, adding two or three things on your own and then you forget about something else that's important. This is a very good starting point, a very good default template that I recommend that you use, especially if you are a beginner. But even for professionals, it's meant for everyone. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope it has been helpful. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.